Hi there, everyone, and welcome back to Kuiper Valley Living. Today, we're going to be answering that age-old question, how the hell am I supposed to invest in real estate on my budget? You're probably sitting there thinking, like, how am I supposed to get involved? How do I put, where do I put my money? What am I supposed to do to get started? And the company we're gonna be talking about today is called Fundrise. It's kind of like a play on fundraise and your funds rising, et cetera. So pretty clever name. Um, you gotta give them points for that. So either way, uh, Fundrise is a platform where you can invest in multi-million dollar real estate, real estate development deals. Um, uh, commercial buildings that they buy and manage or um, other properties that they just hold the mortgage to um, and what's great about it is that you can see an eight and a half like about an eight and a half to a twelve and a half percent annual return um, which is pretty 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 good okay so it's pretty good I think like the magic number that people are shooting for for like a great investment percentage is about 15 percent um, and this kind of like allows you for like greater growth in the long term but eight and a quarter eight and a half to twelve and a half is pretty good um, on its own as well and that's kind of what you can expect to see with one of these online platforms like Fundrise the other major thing that kind of catches your attention when you're on the website is the fact that you can start with an initial investment of $500 and that is unheard of in the competition market for this. I mean, I think their closest, closest competitors initial investment for their smallest package is 10 times that. So it's like $5,000, which like most people don't have $5,000 just laying around to get started. But even if you have as little as an initial $500, you can move forward with an investment in Fundrise and then you can be like a hoity-toity real estate developer investor um, which is pretty cool so it's another reason why I think it's a great investment for a first-time investor or someone who's really looking to diversify um, their portfolio I believe it's supposed to be like something like 30% of your entire investment portfolio should be diversified away from like stocks bonds um, and so that kind of gives a really good way to diversify the portfolio put your money in a safer long-term return area um, is the first to be able to do it they've only been around for 10 years Additionally, the investment is not um, considered to be a liquid investment. It's very illiquid. Um, they expect for any money that you put in there to stay for at least five years. So this isn't something like flipping houses or something where you're actually going to get a pretty decently, a decent return on your investment as, as far as time-wise. Um, you are running a higher risk when you do something like flipping houses, and so you would expect a higher return in a shorter period of time. Um, investing in these e-REITs, as they call them, and we'll talk about what an e-REIT is, uh, right at the end um, but the um, these e-rates don't give you that liquidity they expect for you to keep your money in the account for at least five years these are very very long-term investments and you see the greatest rise and steady rise in the real estate market over long periods of time um, because of course in the middle it's going up and down there are a lot of changes that are affecting the real estate market in the short term but over time people always need houses people are always buying houses and it's a market that's always increasing so then what's the magic word? Is it a cool way to invest in real estate or is it not? I mean, Fundrise deals in something called e-REITs and that's kind of a term that they coined. Um, they invest in income producing properties. And so as an investor on our end, on the user's end, um, you buy some kind of portfolio with Fundrise um, and each portfolio is separated into all these different REITs, which is a real estate investment trust. So within each portfolio, there are REITs that are identifying purchasing, possibly selling or managing um, pieces of income producing property. And based on the number of shares that you own in, Sun in Fundrise, which inevitably is your ownership in a portfolio, which is ownership in a portion of a REIT, um, that, says how, that says how much return you're gonna get. So there are a couple good and bad things about that. Um, I would say that you probably do not want to invest in Fundrise if you um, really like a really simple fee structure. The fee structure is kind of funky and a little bit um, hard to follow. Uh, you probably would not be a good investor for Fundrise if you like a liquid investment where you can pull your money quickly because it is a long-term 
investment strategy. And you probably wouldn't like it if you want an investment that doesn't require due diligence. Um, because of the layers and levels of sort of in and in and in to find out where your money is actually being invested, it's important that on the investor side, you really take some time to look up um, each of the investments that you're going to make, each of the REITs that's part of your portfolio, um, just so you can get a better idea of the risk um, of your investment. So um, besides that, I mean, this is a really, really easy platform to use. The website is exceptionally user-friendly they have a 90-day money-back guarantee a really really low threshold to begin um, and that makes it a, an excellent vehicle for many first-time investors that want to be part of a real estate investment trust um, or even a seasoned investor who's looking to diversify so if you learned a little bit about Fundrise today, um, let me know in the comment or like the video. Um, of course, we're gonna be following up with this in the investment series uh, for our next video, which is real estate mutual funds to kind of get a feel of what's the other side of investing um, in real estate. But please check back every Monday for new videos and don't forget to subscribe.